Turning focus back to Karnataka where the JDS is planning to challenge the appointment of the pro tem speaker in the Supreme Court. So yes, the legal challenge is going to continue. First, it was about who should be invited to form the government and now the fresh legal tussle has started over the appointment of KG Bopaya as the pro tem speaker. The Congress also saying that convention has been ignored and that Raj Bhavan is acting in a partisan fashion. Now they are going to mount a legal challenge. How soon is that going to happen? We haven't heard yet officially from the JDS, but top sources within the party are telling us there is a very small window that they have. We might again see an overnight legal drama. Big, big political developments taking place. The BJP standing firm saying that there is nothing illegal in what has been done. Nolan Pinto speaking to his sources in the JDS. Yes, what are they planning to do? What's the plan? Well, in fact, Padmaja, the information we're getting is that they're planning to move a petition in the Supreme Court again for the appointment of the pro tem speaker. Uh, like we were speaking earlier, they believe that uh, the the rule is that the uh, the one who has the most experience over there should be the pro tem speaker. In this particular case, it is the eight-time MLA R.V. Deshpande who first uh, was elected in 1983. Uh, so they're stating that the speaker has, has, I beg your pardon, the governor has once more not done his duty right and is only listening to his masters. So they believe that uh, the elections tomorrow or uh, the vote will not be fair and hence they have decided to move this immediately in the Supreme Court. All right, and in fact, what the Congress and the JDS now seem to be saying is that the role of the governor is being brought into question. That is the single point of criticism that they are launching, that the governor is behaving in a partisan fashion, and it's the center which is pulling the strings. Nolan. Absolutely. This is what they have been saying from day one. We saw what Rahul Gandhi stated. We saw what Gulam Nabi Azad also stated today. Sidramia during the press conference. They have actually attacked the governor. They didn't even call his name. They didn't even take his name. Mr. Sidramia went on to, to poke fun at him saying that Mr. Governor is doing this. Mr. Governor is doing that. Now, even the JDS has also stated that it's speaking, uh, spoken to so many uh, senior JDS leaders. Okay, so the name of the Raj Bhavan is being dragged through mud with people saying you're behaving like an RSS Shaka, you're acting in a partisan fashion, you're behaving like an arm of the BJP. All these criticisms are being lobbed at the governor, but the BJP is standing firm. Stay with me, Nolan, because we want to break another piece of news because Prakash Javrekar, who is the state in charge of the BJP for Karnataka, has tweeted, and I quote him, KG Bopaya appointed as pro tem speaker even in 2008 by the then governor. That time he was 10 years younger than what he is today. The Congress is thus raising a hoax objection. The appointment of Bopaya G is as per rules and regulations, unquote. In fact, Shobha Karandalaji speaking right now. Let's quickly cut across. Thanks for watching the video. For more such news and updates, please like, share and subscribe to India Today. Also check out our other great videos from our channel. We know you would love to.